Hello grade 8 and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. So, as you know for this week that we are going to the lab, please do not forget your lab coat as you know that if you forget your lab coat you will lose marks, you will not be able to join your classmates to do the actual experiment. So let's not forget our lab coats and make sure that you have them on Monday. As for this week's lesson, as you all know that last week we started modeling chemical reactions. We know that chemical reactions are put in chemical equations to describe the reaction using symbols instead of words. We know that the chemical equations are composed of formulas where we use the chemical formula of the molecule. So, the chemical reaction will be composed of a reactant, either two or more, and the products can be two or more also, and we know that there's a chemical change that happens in these chemical reactions, so they can uh, form new products with different properties. Also, we learned that chemical reactions and equations can have subscripts, so we can have two O's or three O's, or two carbons or two hydrogens, so we have subscripts of different numbers of each letter. We also took the law of conservation of mass, where we talked about how even if there's a physical or a chemical change, especially in a chemical reaction, the mass of the total uh, process does not change. This is why we use coefficients to balance equations. We have to balance equations because what the reactants enter and how the products leave this reaction are equal to each other. So the total mass is conserved. This is why scientists showed us two different systems, open system and closed system. In these systems, we learned that no matter how the mass started, it will end the same way. For this week, we are going to continue types of chemical reactions. We have three types of chemical reactions, which is synthesis, decomposition, and single replacement. We are going to talk about each one separately. What is the synthesis, what is the decomposition, and what is the replacement? In a chemical reaction, we will take examples, and as usual, we will use uh, the online quizzes to assess our knowledge, and then we were going to start a small part of the second unit's topic, which is genetics and heredity. We are going to talk about genes, heredity, alleles, and about Gregor Mendel's experiment and how he used the pea plant to tell us about the dominant and recessive alleles of the different organisms. So thank you so much, 8th grade. I hope this week is full of new knowledge. And if you ever need anything, you know where to find me. Thank you so much.